Okay, for the performance uh, test of the Bosch DDS18102, we're going to go ahead and compare the battery life uh, to the older model, the 36618. And uh, both of them have the slim pack battery, but the new one has the high capacity HC batteries, which are supposed to last quite a bit longer. So, what we're going to do is compare the two by drilling some holes with a 5 uh, drill bit. It's a titanium drill bit made by DeWalt. And what I've done is set up a 2x4 and marked off some lanes. And I'm just going to drill right down these lanes. And I have four set up. This one's for the, the 18102 as well as this one. And the other two are for the 36618. And we're just going to count how many we can get. Now I organized these into lanes and alternated them so that we'll get a good even uh, distribution of, of drill holes and we won't be stressing one drill more than the other. I've also marked off any areas with knots so we don't drill into any knots. Now as I, as I go I'm also going to uh, alternate between the drills that way we're not wearing this drill bit down and then switching it on the other drill and uh, you know obviously it's not going to last uh, as long if it's worn down. So for every uh, 10 holes we're going to switch drill bits to the other drill that will also give the, uh, the battery pack uh, in the drills a chance to cool down so we're not uh, you know thermally uh, uh, disrupting the test and uh, causing uh, poor data that way. We want to try to get this as accurate as possible to normal use and not just a, a stress test on the battery. Um, it's not really a test that's going to uh, you know give you any real world uh, application type uses. Chances are you're not going to be drilling a hundred of these uh, holes with a 5 16 drill bit but it is a good comparison between the two uh, battery packs. Now this this drill has been used, the battery packs have been used for about a year and a half, uh, not too heavily, but uh, decently, so that's something you also want to consider. Um, I've heard numbers from Bosch though that the new version with the slim pack HC battery can drive over 500 screws, 3 inch screws. So uh, that's quite a bit and it gives you a lot of uh, working time to get a lot done. Alright, here we go. Go ahead and start with the 18102. Both the batteries have been charged overnight, so they're at full capacity. And uh, here we go. Five, one, two, three, four, five. We got ten there. We'll switch to the other drill. Alright, so far we've driven 60 holes on each side, each lane here, uh, for the new drill 1E102 and an old drill to 36618. And uh, this one came out a little longer. I made the, the lane a little narrower so I couldn't fit it quite as many in. Uh, but both these have 60, and uh, we're going to continue on to the next lane here. Uh, both drills still seem to be going very strong. Uh, that's one thing you'll notice about lithium batteries is uh, they keep going at almost their full strength until the very end. So let's see if we can get through these lanes here. Alright, as you can see, we've gone through uh, 60 holes on each lane. That's 120 holes per drill, and uh, both of them still going pretty much uh, full strength. Uh, starting to show a little bit of sign of fading, I think. But we'll see, we're going to switch boards and uh, start over again. Now, this new board that I've started with seems to be a little more sappy, so it's harder for the drill bit to turn through it. So, this uh, it sounds like uh, it's definitely going to start to kill these drills, but it should still be a 
uh, even performance comparison. So here we go. All right, we've just come to the failure point of these 36618. Uh, I just got to the very end of the board, drilling the uh, 50th hole on this uh, on this board, and that makes it 170 holes. And the 36618 has failed, as you can see, squeezing the trigger, light comes on, the drill will not turn. Uh, it's really amazing how quickly they go from, you know, working fine to all of a sudden it just grinds to a halt. And that's the lithium battery technology. Once it drops below a certain level, it'll shut off. So you can't drop it all the way uh, down to zero, which is bad for the battery. Uh, with older NICADs, uh, you'll see that they'll just keep going until the very end. And it's just a gradual decline pretty much uh, through the, throughout the entire time you're drilling with them. So uh, that's it for the older 36618. And we're going to continue on this side with the 18102 and see how many more holes it can drill. All right, there's another 10 for the 18102. We're going to give it another a minute break uh, to cool down the battery. While the uh, 18102 is cooling, we'll go ahead and check out the, the battery gauge feature. It's a good time to check it out. Uh, you press the button, and we have a flashing green light. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that means. It may mean that uh, I'm not sure if it flashes normally when it's down to one segment, or it means that it's basically lower than uh, lower than one third. And there you have it. That's the end of the 18102. You can see it tries a little bit, and then it just totally gives up. You have no power left. Gives you, if you let it sit for a minute, it'll give you a little bit of burst of power uh, once the battery covers, but uh, that's it. Uh, the last one, the 36618, I went until it stopped and wouldn't complete a hole. And I'm going to do the same with the 18102 and the battery. Still the one-third uh, position and flashing. So that's that. Next we're going to uh, look at how quickly the batteries recharge. Um, but let's tally up the results here. 10, 20, uh, 24. So that means the uh, 18102 did 24 mo more holes. And uh, let's see, let's calculate out the percentage. So the older model did uh, 170 holes, and the new model, uh, 18102, did uh, 194 holes. So basically, we're going to take uh, uh, 24 and divide it by 170. And that gives you about uh, 0.141, uh, that's about 14% improvement in battery life uh, for the new 18102. That's a far cry from the 50% that they put on the box. Uh, I'm guessing they use that number to compare against different brands. Uh, but against the older model, it doesn't really quite hold up. Especially when you consider that the older 36618 has been used. These batteries, ha battery packs have been used. But this is also a tribute to how well these batteries work and how long they last. Now we'll go ahead and go for the recharging and see how long it takes. And a quick note, these batteries, both of them got fairly a little bit warm. You know, it's not hot or anything to the touch, but you can feel the warmth. It is plastic, so uh, it doesn't conduct heat too well. But they put this uh, grid design, three-dimensional design, into the bottom, bottom of the battery packs, and they say that helps uh, dissipate the heat, keeps the battery packs cooler. All right, now we're going to compare the uh, recharge times, and we'll go ahead and I got these both set up. They're not fully inserted yet. See the green lights are on, so it's not charging. I'm going to go ahead and seat those and start my timer. All right, there we go. All right, both batteries have finished charging. As you can see, it's all green light is on. Uh, these batteries never went into slow charge mode. Uh, when I first started them, you could see they're flashing green lights, which means they're fast charging the whole time. And the... Uh, the older battery from the 36618, the 1.3 amp hour battery, finished charging in 39 minutes, while the newer one took about 47 minutes for the 1.5 amp hour high capacity battery. Now this makes sense because it's a higher capacity 
it should take longer to charge. Uh, 47 minutes is definitely longer than 30 minutes that Bosch claims. But then again, we ran these batteries pretty much down as low as they would go. Maybe Bosch is using a different technique and not draining them so far. Lastly, if you take in, into consideration the improvement of the battery pack in terms of amp hours, you have the original at 1.3 amp hours and the new high capacities are 1.5 amp hours. If you take the difference between those two, we have a 0.2 amp hour increase and divide that by the original 1.3. It gives you a 15.4% increase in battery capacity and we got just about 15% increase in number of drills. Uh, number of holes we could drill. So uh, if that's an uh, accurate representation, then that uh, coincides pretty nicely. All right, the final test we're going to run is uh, to test out the same drilling task with this old Craftsman C3 19.2 volt, volt uh, drill that uh, has a NICAD diehard battery. Now this is an old drill, this is probably five years old, and the battery uh, for all intents is pretty much shot. It doesn't last very long at all. Um, but I wanted to show you this because a lot of people that are in the market for the new Bosch DDS-180-102 um, may have something like this and they probably want to see you know, what, what extra performance and what battery life am I going to get in comparison to my old drill that I have. So we're going to go ahead and uh, test this out. I have the same uh, board that I used to finish up the test with the uh, other two drills and I'm going to start in this section and uh, I think this is about all we'll need for wood. So here we go. Now we'll give it a chance to cool down. And that is all she wrote. You can see the uh, the NICAD battery still goes, but this does not have the torque. So this drill will essentially let you drop draw this battery all the way down to nothing which isn't good for NICADs either and as you can see I did maybe I don't know 35 holes let me count these out real quick thirty six holes uh, compared to one hundred and ninety four with the one eighty one oh two and one hundred and seventy with the older model thirty six six eighteen that doesn't have the high capacity battery packs. So that's quite an improvement. Uh, I didn't, I also, uh, I didn't change the bit. It is the old bit that I used in the prior test. Uh, that shouldn't make that big of a difference. As you can see, there's a statistical blowout here um, with this many holes compared to, you know, 194 holes. So that's a good comparison. That shows you what you're gonna get with the, the new Bosch drill with the lithium ion battery pack in comparison with an older, uh, drill with NICAD batteries uh, that are pretty much, you know, toasted. All right, thanks.